In this video, we are going to see how to send automated WhatsApp reminders to employees about their shift timings. So let's say that you have all the details of your employees on any spreadsheet, let's say Google Sheet, where you have the name and then the dates and their shift timings. Now you want to set up a workflow which should run every day and it should check your Google Sheet. And if there is any employee who has a particular shift two days later, it should be able to send a reminder to that person through WhatsApp. Now, how can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate these two applications. And the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. So once you have scheduled it, then your action applications would be Google Sheets and WhatsApp. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL Pabli dot com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free if you already have an account with us simply sign in if you are the new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and yes at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks now i'm going to click on sign in and here we have reached the all apps page let's click on access now for Pabli connect and here we have reached the dashboard of this application on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow here my objective is to send automated whatsapp reminders to employees about their shift timings so here i'm going to have the information on google sheets and then i'm going to integrate it with whatsapp api so i'm going to name this workflow as google sheets whatsapp integration let's click on create here we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now when I say that I wish to send reminders about the shift timings to my employees, so I need to schedule my workflow every day. So that this workflow will run every day, look for the data and then send the reminder. So first I'm going to use a feature by Pabli which is schedule. Let's click on this. And now when do I want my workflow to run? I want it to run every day. Now let's fix the timing. Let's make it 12 o'clock. Okay, so every day at 12 o'clock this workflow should run and to look for the relevant information. Let's click on save. So as soon as we do that here we can see that we have received our response so how often it will run every day now the timing is 12 o'clock as per asia kolkata time and as per utc it will be 6 30. now what do i want i want this workflow to check for the current date so let's say that we are sitting on 29th of october then i want that if there is a person who has a shift on 31st so at least two days prior he should receive an intimation on whatsapp about his shift timing here i'm going to use an action application basically it's a feature by pabli date time formatter now here the action event would be modify current date let's click on connect and now here we have to tell the date format. So it will be date, month and year. Now the time zone. So it will be Asia, Kolkata. So I'm going to write Asia, Kolkata over here. Now I want to add days. How many days do I want to add? At least two days. So basically two days prior, I should receive an intimation. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So if today is 29th of October, this workflow is going to check the date, which is 31st of October in your Google Sheet. So once I have received this date, now I wish to have a look in my Google Sheet. So let me show you the Google Sheet that I've created. So this is my Google Sheet. So now how my workflow is going to run, it is going to check for the date and it is going to look for 31st of October. So if there is a relevant date, then the workflow will continue to run. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to add an action step and this time the action application would be Google Sheets. Let's click on this and the action event would be lookup spreadsheet rows. So it is going to look for the spreadsheet rows that we have created and now let's click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Google Sheets account. To set up this connection, we are going to click on add new connection, connect with Google Sheets. Now here it is asking us for the account name. Let's 
confirm and then we have to provide the authorization by clicking on continue. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Google Sheets and Public Connect are now connected. Here we have to select the name of the spreadsheet. So I'm going to look for the spreadsheet that I have created. So here you can see the name of my spreadsheet is XYZ company and the sheet name is shift timing sheet. I have the following column fields, employee ID, employee name, contact number, unit, block, date and shift timing. So taking you back to Public Connect here, I'm going to look for XYZ company. Here it is. And here you can see that it has automatically selected the name of our sheet. Now the lookup column. So what is the lookup column? So here you can see that we have to look for this E column right we have to look for the date so e is the column so i'm going to take you back and here i'm going to write e column once done lookup value so again what is the lookup value so here we are looking for this value 31st of october and then do you want to include headers in response to sort value from top to bottom let's click on save and send test request so here you can see that yes we have received the api response this is the employee id name contact number and we have received this entire thing but now i do not want the simple response i want the advanced response so that i can receive my response in array format so i'm going to toggle it towards the left again click on save and send test request and here you can see that i have received my information in array format so why have i done this i have done this why because as of now in my google sheet there is only one particular data so there is only one row with 31st of October 2022 date. But what if I had multiple rows? If I had multiple rows here in the API response, I would have received multiple information. But when it comes to array format, then I can actually segregate it with the help of another feature by Pabli, which is iterator. So now here I'm going to show you how to use iterator also. So here once I go, so I have to choose the response. So this is it. And now if I click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received information only for the first row. So this is an extremely important step. Why? Because when you have multiple data and it comes all together, you have to segregate it so that you can map the data row by row and then you can send information. So now once I have received this, now my next objective is that I wish to share a WhatsApp message with my client. So now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to add another action step. This time it is WhatsApp cloud API. Let's click on this and the action event would be to send template message. Let's click on connect. Now here again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the WhatsApp cloud API account. Here I'm going to click on add new connection to set up this connection. I need this info. So here I need token phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. From where can I get this? For this, I have to go to Meta for Developers page. And once we are here logged in, I will go to my applications. Here I've already created a few applications. You can create your own application by clicking on this create app tab. Now I'm going to choose this one. And once we reach here on the left hand side, you can see WhatsApp. Click on the drop down, go to getting started. And here you can see that we have received the information that is important for us to set up the connection. We have received the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. There is one little thing that you really need to take care of. This is just a temporary access token. That means that if you will create your workflow using this token, it will stop working after a day, which is 23 hours as the token will expire in 23 hours. So here you need to create a permanent access token. The same can be done as a dedicated video is given in the video description. You can just go through it and step by step the entire process has been mentioned you can follow the same and create your permanent access token this is just a test case so i'm going to go ahead with this particular token i'm going to copy this go back to Pabli connect paste it over here then again i'm going to go here this is my phone number id so i'm going to copy this and paste it over here and finally the whatsapp business account id so this is it i'm going to copy this and paste it over here. Now I'm going to click on save to set up the connection. And yes, WhatsApp Cloud API is connected with Pabli Connect. Now here we have to share the template name. What is a template? Templates are basically pre-written messages that you can share or to WhatsApp or to SMS and you do not have to write them again and again. So let me just explain you what they are. So we are again going to go back to 
metaphor developer page here in step two you can see to create your own message template click here so let's click on this and these are the templates that i've already created you can create your own template by clicking on this create template tab now i'm going to search for the template that i have already created which is shift timing so this is the template there are no headers you can always choose a text or the media in media you can have images videos or documents now here let's check out the body of my template hello and then you can see a number within double curly braces this is to inform you that your shift timing for this is this. We are hopeful that you strictly follow the timings mentioned above. We will need your cooperation to create a healthy and disciplined working environment at the office. Regards. And then there is another number within double curly braces with team. What are these numbers? These numbers are basically variables. They can keep changing with every message. So obviously the name of the person would be different. The shift timing would be different. The date would be different. And therefore, if we write this within double curly braces, so these numbers can get changed. Let me show you a preview of this message. So it will look something like this. Hello, Roger Penny. This is to inform you that your shift timing is this is the date and the time. We are hopeful that you strictly follow the timings mentioned above. Then the rest of the message regards Pabli team. I hope you have understood this. Going back to Pabli Connect, I'm going to look for shift timing. Let's click on this. So once done, now I have to map the information. Mapping means that I have the mobile number. I have the mobile number of my client in one of these steps. I have to retrieve it. Now, why do I map? Because every time the mobile number of the person would be different. So if I write this manually, so it will not inculcate the new data from the next time. It will only take the data that has been placed manually. That is why mapping is important. So I'm going to go to step four iterator and this is the phone number. So I'm going to select this. Now here you can see that you have to enter the mobile number with the country code. So I'm going to write the country code over here, right? Now the name of the person, again, let's go to step four. This is the name. Then we have the date. So here is the date and then we have the shift timing. So I'm going to go for the shift timing. Now the name of the company. So obviously the name of the company is not going to change. I can actually manually write it. So I'm going to write as Pabli Connect. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the response, which basically means that now I should have received a message on my WhatsApp. So let me take you to my WhatsApp account now. And here you can see that, yes, we have received a message. Hello, demo user one. This is to inform you that your shift timing for 31st of October is 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then the rest of the mass message regards Pabli Connect team. This basically means that our integration process is a success, but we also need to check it in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Google Sheets and here I'm going to add another information. So let's say the employee ID is 1005 and then I have the name as demo user 5. This is the contact number. Then let's say he belongs to a block the date so the date is 31st 10 2022 and then the shift timing let's say it is 10 a.m to 6 p.m right so once we have received this what should happen automatically a whatsapp message should be received but if i'll take you back to public connect and if I'll show you the first step where we had scheduled, so you can see that it was scheduled for 12 p.m. And right now it is 12 2. So now this workflow is going to run again tomorrow, but I can show it to you in real time. I'm going to just make it 12 4. Okay. And now I'm going to save this once again. So exactly at 12 4, 
I should receive a WhatsApp message. So let's check that. So here you can see that yes, exactly at 12.04, I have received another message. Hello, demo user 5. This is to inform you that your shift timing for this is 10, so 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We are hopeful that you strictly follow the timings mentioned above and the message remains the same. So yes, this basically means that our entire integration process is a complete success. So now I have taken you back to Pabli Connect here to explain you exactly what we have done. So our trigger application was a feature by Pabli which was scheduled and we had scheduled this workflow to run every day at a particular time. Then we had chosen date time formatter by Pabli another feature where we had modified the current date we had added two more days ahead so that it can actually send reminders at least two days prior. Once done the Google Sheets this was our action application where the event was lookup spreadsheet rows. And here we had received a response in advanced format in array format. So we had chosen a feature by Pabli, which was iterator. And finally, our action application was WhatsApp cloud API. The event was sent template message. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow, which is given in the description box of this video. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. If you have any particular integration that you wish to work on you can always write to us this is just a one-time setup you do not have to repeat it again and again so now i hope that you have liked this video thank you so much not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using pabli connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.